All right, onwards and upwards. Then again, at right, Zelda farm waifu, there are other there are other farm waifus. I've played Harvest Moon, way more Harvest Moon than most people really probably should. Anyway, really help me out, Sunny. If you ever want to go to Lake Hylia, use the shortcut behind our ranch. Can do. Nice cow, by the way. Okay, let's see. If I remember correctly, yeah, there's pretty much just a path that leads here. What move? Okay, good. <laughs> good job there, Mr. Cow, or Mrs. Cow. Yeah, there are there are, there are no really male cows. There are uh, there they are bulls. That is the difference. <laughs> oh, here's a fun fact. For um, I was sure for the bulk of my life. Whoa, how tranquil! And these cows look so delicious. That's disturbing, weird duck hat. For the longest part of my life, I could have sworn that all sheep were female, and that the male sheep equivalent was a goat. I, I thought they were basically the same species, but just different because of the gender, like cows and bulls. Also, I'll have you know, thanks to Pokemon, for like, an embarrassingly large amount of time, I was 100% positive that seagulls grew up to be pelicans. Thanks a lot, Wingle and Pelipper! Making me look like an idiot in high school! Either way, money everywhere! Alright, get out of here, weird hologram self. Ain't nobody got time for you or your ugly face. Let's see. It's looking like something will be here eventually, but not right now. So that was entirely pointless. Well, I mean, I guess I got some money out of it, but I don't know. I'm still counting that as pointless. Anyway, Lake Hylia and Syrup the Witch's Hut. Alright then, onwards we go! Gotta be a bit careful here. I admit that I had I wanted to make sure that I actually had the money before we went through all of the trouble because we actually have to pay for that item and I have gone there with like five rupees before so it's always best to make sure you have plenty it's not gonna cost like 300 rupees but still it always pays to be uh, you know safe about this sort of thing either way hello tiny dog I threw a boomerang at you <laughs> rough rough all right well that's cool and everything I guess but for some reason, I mean, when you shrink down, you don't become a Minish, you just become small, but I guess animals are willing to talk to Minish? I don't understand. My master Stockwell has been coming home far too late to play with me. I'm so lonely. You poor child! Although you do have a Kinstone for some reason. So let's see, and nope, don't have it, because I don't have any green friggin' Kinstones! Oh my goodness! Why you gotta make things so dang difficult? Ugh, okay, well... Either way. Du, 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 and there's another thing that'll clearly eventually be something, but isn't right now. Okay, very strange. And I'm rolling around everywhere like I said I wasn't gonna do. Ah, I need to stop it. I need to stop it right, right now. Okay, so... Sierra oh, right, you need to use the wind current. Derp, that's what you gotta do. Alright, first things first, murder you and your stupid face. And then also murder you and your stupid face. There's just so much stupid faces going on here. Oh, right, hold up. And there we go. Now we no longer have to go into their house to make progress in this general area, which is pretty good. What if I had to do it in the middle of the night while they're sleeping? That's not creepy at all, except it's exceptionally creepy. Don't do that. I shouldn't have to tell you guys not to go into people's houses in the middle of the night, especially if you don't really know them that well. <laughs> it's gonna lead to problems. Although it could also lead to kinstone pieces, a red one. All right, awesome. I mean, the red and the blue ones are the ones that actually matter. The green ones usually lead to just extra money and stuff, usually, while the red and the blue ones will, like, open up side quests or things of that general nature. So, I mean, if you're gonna have... So, I, I mean, I guess it really doesn't make too much of a difference, but I don't know. It's still it's still kind of annoying that I have to... Like, I find all of these uh, kinstone fusers that want to fuse green ones, and I don't have any green ones to fuse! Oh, my goodness. Okay. Ah, oh, finally! I was waiting for something to finally plop out of the grass. Yeesh. Why's it gotta be so hard to find these things? Anyway. You know, I imagine being inflated like that really can't feel that good. Not sure why uh, the hat is willing to just do that for us, but appreciated nonetheless. Although I suppose what I really should be questioning is the fact that there are stationary tornadoes that never seem to dissipate just all around the place everywhere. That's more than a little strange. Die, Chew Jolly! Come on, come on, die, 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 die. Yeah, I like that. Okay, well, or not die in one hit. That's annoying. Thank you. Thought my sword would have been strong enough to do that by this point. Apparently not. All right, take care of all these Oktorokus. I don't care about that singular rupee. You're going to have to be more valuable than that or within my reach if I'm going to bother going all the way over there. Okay. 
Now I'm just gonna destroy this witch's, I don't know, garden, probably? So, I don't know. I imagine she probably, realistically, wouldn't be too happy about this. In fact, I doubt very few people would mind you running around and cutting down all of the fauna in their area, but there you go, I guess. Anyway, there's your standard blue potion. Don't really want any of it. It heals you up and stuff, but bleh. Ah, uh, yes, a fine choice, my dear. That's a limited time article. One whiff and you're wide awake. That's why it's called a wake up mushroom. I'm very creative like that, you see. Would you buy it for 60 rupees? Of course. Give me that stupid thing. You got a wake up shroom. It's nasty stench. <laughs> it chases away the sleepies. That's pretty funny. Yeah, just face the sleepy snoozer and press R. That'll pop his eyes right open. Bop. All right. Thank you, witch. I will never speak to ever again. Uh, I don't really understand the point of putting that in the game. I mean, it's already barred off. Like, getting the Pegasus Boots is already barred off until you trigger all of the necessary things. Walking all the way over here to Maple's weird potion shop. I mean, I know it's something that shows up in, like, all Zelda games. Not all of them, but a good chunk. There's usually a potion shop in almost every one of them. But I don't know. It's How often do people actually use, you know, those things exactly? That that's what I want to know. Do you, does anybody ever actually use the potions in the um, in the Zelda games? And I'm not talking like uh, you know that one potion, that 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 soup that you can get in Wind Waker that doubles your attack. No, that's that's freakishly useful, and a lot of people use that. I'm talking about the red and blue potions that are available in almost every game. Does anybody ever actually go out of their way to use those? Because from my perspective, and I do have one, mind you, it's that why not just go get some fairies? Everyone does this. Like. I'm not the only one to think this, everyone does this. Because the potions always cost money. And you could always use that money on literally just about anything else. And if you have the time to run all the way over to a potion shop, then you have enough time to run all the way over to a, one of the many fairy fountains that are all over the place. Sometimes you find fairies not even in the fountains, they're just around all over the place. And you can just get them there. And those revive you from death. So, the potions don't do that nonsense, I'm just saying, man. Like, I don't understand why they keep putting in these potions in the games when I can't imagine anybody ever uses them. Either way, speaking of fairies, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna shove one in a bottle. And I'm sure they don't mind that whatsoever. I mean, I got, obviously they don't, otherwise they wouldn't revive me when I die, but... Still, a little bit strange, a little bit strange. Either way, progressing! Let's go, go, go! Okay, moving right along, moving right along, rolling all over the place, because apparently it's just compulsory at this point. And we waddle on here, and wake up, stupid! And, well, well, first the duck hat has to tell us, hey, remember, that's what we're doing! And there you go, sleepy man! Whoa, okay, hi, how's it going? Merry Christmas. Wow, whoa, what is that terrifyingly bad smell? Wake up, mushroom! I should have guessed, so you woke me up. Thanks, I just remembered I have something urgent to do. Give me things! Huh? What now? There are more new shoes. You probably won't believe this, but I have a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. So you must have come here because you want some of my shoes, right? Tell you what, because you were nice enough to wake me, you can have them. Hold on a sec, though. I just want to finish this one last bit. There we go. Just make sure the soles of the shoes don't fall off. For some reason, I'm shining them, even though you're going to spend a very large portion of your time in these shoes, you know, I guess, you know, running in muck. Either way. Haha! -ha, Pegasus boots! They literally make you run at abnormally fast speeds. How you're not a millionaire by creating these, I have no idea. Anyway, shoes for Zelda. Yes, yes, yes. You go ahead and do that. <laughs> you feel free to, t to, yeah, to spend as much time as you want. It's really, really not that big of a deal. I mean, Zelda don't really need shoes right now. Anyway, you might notice that there's something odd here. We're not holding out our sword and attacking everything in a battering ram-like manner. Well, for some reason, you can't do that initially. You have to go to Legolas and actually train in the art of holding out your sword while running. It's... it makes no sense. I don't understand why that's the thing, but there you go, I guess. Either way, blah, 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 blah. Now he's gonna possess our body for no reason. I get... Th you just have to use the Pegasus boots. Nothing special. Yep, okay. Now get out of my brain and Pegasus boots. Wada, 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 woo! See, just like that, fantastic. In case you forget to how to do the thing that's literally impossible to not do anymore, then here's a tiger skull. It doesn't make any sense. You can't... Well, I mean, I guess you need to have the sword equipped for some reason in order to do it, but still, very weird. Either way, that takes care of all that business. So, onwards we go. Out of the way, random guard guy. I've got important things to do. 
Although, what happened to those tiny childrens? They were hanging out there for the longest time, and now they're no longer there. That's weird. Oh, you! Uh, man, I really want to get in and play a few games. Can't, but they're closed. Not going anywhere until they open. Okay. Let's see. Ah! Finally! <laughs> the one green key kinstone that I've got. Apparently I got a duplicate of it in the grass. That's just splendid. Thank you. And this should probably just create a treasure chest of some sort. And I am correct in my assessment. Good to know. Yep, okay, so that's definitely- I, I, I didn't really know for certain if that was how the kinstones worked, but yeah, I guess the green stone- The green ones are just kind of superfluous that you don't really need. Anyway... Okay, let's see, let's see... Can I actually go in here now? I can! Alright, good, good. Let's see, it seems you really wanna- you get what you pay for here, that's true. Not if you use kinstones, right, it's a green one. Okay, the exact same one that you need, so that's lucky, but now I have no green one, so... That's amazing. Anyway, now it's going to make another treasure chest! Answer is no! It's going to make a golden enemy! You have to kill it, and then you can get the money! Ugh... Not really good luck, honestly. Now just go kill this poisonous viper, and everything will work out just fine! Anyway, we've got children all over the place! Oh my god, stop that! Hey, what do you know about that light force stuff? People are saying it's some kind of treasure that can grant you any wish. Anyway, now the king's in a big huff trying to find it! It's strange, though. He never struck me as the greedy type before. It's almost like he's a different person now. It's almost like he's very obviously a different person impersonating him now. Maybe, just maybe, it's the demonic wizard that everyone knows about. Anyway, check out these women's. They're pretty fly. In fact, I'm pretty sure... I mean, well, first of all, they're named after the three goddesses of Hylia. Uh, Din, Naburu, and Freror. And, uh... Uh, let me just make sure staying in this in forever would start to be a bother. It's so nice to be here at last, it's such a big town it is. We need to find a nice quiet place where we can settle down. Yeah, that'll come in that'll come into place later. But uh, I'm pretty sure that this is the girl you meet in Oracle of Ages, and this is the girl you meet in Oracle of Seasons. So, there you go. That's a little odd. But there you go, I guess. References! References everywhere. Anyway, there's Beetle. He's gonna, you know, he's trying to sell you stuff by going, Thank you! Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, anyway, I've spent more than enough time doing absolutely nothing. Oh, hey, Malin, how's it going? I'd buy milk from you, but again, I'd much rather just carry a fairy around with me at all times. So, there you go. Alright, now we can actually get over here with great ease. As I continuously just slash about. Alright, see, that's the thing. I didn't know if um, I pushed that boulder to make it so I can get over there from... The south side of town. Turns out I did. Eh, I need to start paying more attention to the things that I do and don't do. It's kind of a problem that happens when you let's play. It's uh, everything kind of blends together after a little while. Anyway, now we can wander around this place. Yay, I can run on top of the muck. Not the water, but I can run on top of muck. So that's pretty cool. And evil snake trying to murder my face. Ain't that just the best? Okay. So this place is actually kind of... Confusing if you don't know what you're doing. I'm sure something somewhere tells you exactly what it is you're supposed to do, but you need to find a bunch of golden kinstones, basically. That is what you need to do. And that is what we shall do. I shall destroy everything with my mighty, mighty blade. Nya, 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 like that, yes. <laughs> Alright. Hello, Mr. Fishy Fishy. I mean, snake. I don't know why I called you a fish. Okay. <laughs> That's a little weird. Good job there, brain. You mistook a snake for a fish. It's one of those land fish that you always hear so much about. Anyway, oh, yeah, so a guardian is protecting the treasure. Take care while fighting it. Yep, thanks a lot. Talking duck hat, that's, uh, Ezlo, whatever your name is. All right, come on, stop. Stop guarding. Hang on, maybe, no, not the flippy stick. Ugh. Boomerang, go, ow. Okay, well, I'm almost positive that I can hurt it. I just need to... I guess I need to wait for it to do the thing. There we go. Okay, yeah. I guess I actually have to wait for it to take a swing at me. Ah, okay. Actually getting hit by the swing is not necessary for success, although it is an option if you're feeling daring. <laughs> so, uh, you know, multiple strategies. You can either not take the hit, or you can. Your choice. I won't judge you. Okay, seriously, could you just do something? Come on. You're not even that difficult. Thank you. Whoop. Hey, oh, freaking stone. Thank you. I don't even know if anything is useful. Oh, yeah, it's a kinstone. Derp! I already forgot why we came into this room! 
Ah, uh, me oh my. All right, well, onwards, onwards, onwards. It's a big convoluted room for just that tiny little piece of metal, I assume the kinstones are made out of. Can't say I really know. Can I climb this? I can! All right, good. That helps me out immensely. Onwards! Ah, and I, as I run at a very awkward angle. Ah! I jousted with a snake, and somehow I lost. That is rather shameful. Not feeling too good about myself right now. Oh, hey oh! Now that is one nasty looking statue! That eye has such an evil glower to it. Yeah, it's almost like you need to shoot it in the eye with a bow and arrow or something. I mean, what are the odds of that being possible? Can't imagine very! Either way, time for shrinkings! And we go, go, go! There, alright. And, da, 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 the game has in fact not forgotten about the weird lily pad pushing mechanic that it has in this game. So that's pretty cool. Alright, well, nope, nope, nope. Wrong way, Link. Wrong way. We do not want to go back where we came. We want to go all the way over here. As this tiny, tiny puddle is now a treacherous ocean. Okay. Da, 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 da. I find it odd that sometimes Link just doesn't know how to swim, and other times he does. How, how do you drown? Like, I inch and a half away from the shoreline. That's just sad, man. You stop that. Alright, we've got all sorts of bugaboo monsters running around this place. Come on, get out of here, you. Oh, get out of here, you rambunctious fliggity what's it? Come on, stop with the running around. Yeah, running around. Faster than sound, you keep a running around. Blue Hedgehog Sonic with the incredible feats of moving my feet. You've got a friggin' bow! Ain't that just swell? Alright, then I guess I will equip this and I will equip this. It is all I need in order to be successful in life. Except for the fact that I need to get the gust jar back out in order to get back over there. Kind of forgot that detail. Woo! All right, if we push ourselves this way, we won't have to re-alter our course. We'll just fly by everything. Most enthralling gameplay that there ever could possibly be. And I drowned because it freaking bounces off the shoreline. That makes sense. Thanks, game. Yeah. Anyway. Back to the boots, please. Da -da 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 -da. For some reason, you can't use the boots while you're in the overscreen, even though you can still use it while being tiny. That doesn't make a much sense, but there you go, I guess. Let's see. Kinstones are needed to actually, uh... If you're wondering, like, how to get over here, yeah, you need, like, a kinstone. It creates a, a lily pad for you to be able to walk around on. So that's something to remember, if you care, I guess. No, wait, let's not drown, and there we go, all right. Whoops, that's not my sword, I changed it for the bow. Completely forgotten, awesome. Oh boy, you are an angry statue, no thank you, go away, thank you. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that, but I do guess I really just do need my sword now. So get out of the way, you stupid slithery snake man. Okay, I demand compensation for all of the badly... Uh, the, you know, the, the, f the fatal snake bites I've accumulated up in here. I have acquired nothing! Sweet! Great! Awesome! What I always wanted! I always like having nothing! Okay, now we just gotta float our way... And there we go! Okay! Yay! A kinstone! A green one! Woo! Finally! It's nice to be able to actually use the friggin' kinstones, though. I mean, even if the green ones aren't as useful as the other ones, it's still nice to be able to get them out of the way when they, you know, like, okay, I'm gonna fuse kinstones with this random person. Oh, it's a green one! But I can't do it! That's... Eh. I don't know. It's a completionist thing, I guess. Can't say I really know. And you got some arrows! Store them in your quiver! As if there was anything else you could possibly do. I guess you also got a quiver when you got that bow, even though they didn't show it. Anyway... Okay, if, if, isn't this just... Hang on a second, isn't this just one of those, uh, those things? I guess not. I thought this was one of those, uh, teleportery things. Oh, so snakes can just slither about all over this place without any problem, huh? Oh, wait, no, there's this. That's weird. Then what was the other one? Eh, it's confusing. Anyway, kabusha! There we go. Takes care of business like that. Get you out of my face. I mean, I, I shouldn't be too, you know, uh, I guess confused by a snake not drowning like that, because there are snakes that can skitter around on the top of a lake surface. So, I mean, it's not like it's completely without, you know... You know, reasoning and stuff. Alright, now we try to kill this evil statue before it murders us! Okay, fantastic. Wh what? Hey, come on now! That clearly hit! That one also clearly hits! Thank you, we dead now. Good day, sir! Yeesh! 
You know, we didn't actually have to fight. I would have been more than happy if you just, you know, got out of the way. That would have been per that would have been perfectly fine by me. But hey, what are you gonna do, I guess? And running, 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 and almost getting injured in the process. Go me. Okay. Now let's see. I guess we just need to go this away. Yes, because it is otherwise completely inaccessible. And boop, there we go. Now, oh, now, now I'm finding kinstones all over the place. Not when I needed them, by any means. No, that'd just be ridiculous. All right, get out of the way, you nerd. Get out of the way. Got another kinstone piece. Aren't you just the best? All right. So, do we only have two? Does this? Does it actually like have a tally? Maybe I can check out my kinstone bag. Hold up. I can. All right. I have just two. Right. Okay. Which means I need four more. All right. Fine by me. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Get out of the way. Oh boy. Okay. Now I'm drowning. Now I'm drowning. See anything over here? Nope. This is not useful until later. I'm just gonna keep on running and try not to drown. Oh boy. You know, video games have and you know just just general media all around over the course of my life has really made it seem like I don't know quicksand would be a thing that I'd have to deal with in my life. Turns out, no. <laughs> you will probably, more than most likely, never encounter quicksand in your entire life, ever. So the fact that it's constantly used in media like this, it's very confusing. Especially when you get down to the fact that quicksand is, well, first of all, it's exceptionally obvious when you see it, because it's a giant moving sinkhole, and that's if it's actually, you know, a threat. Nine times out of ten, quicksand... <laughs> Yeah, quicksand is really completely and totally not a threat to you. Unless you stand there like a moron and wait until you're, like, hip deep, then you're going to be able to get out without any problems whatsoever. So, I don't know, just, just saying. It's a thing that shows up all the dang time and is really, really easy to avoid. Is, is this really the place I was? That's weird. I thought it was just an identical location. Interesting. It didn't. It, it didn't. Yeah. It didn't look like the way I, w I went originally. I guess I got all topsy turvied. It happens. It happens. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Now what do I do? I guess I'll go back over this way because I know that there's another one over here that I completely missed. Didn't think of getting it at the time. Doesn't really matter. We can do this. Just gotta climb in through here. Nope. Nope. That's a Deku scrub. Okay. All right, and it's time for our weekly reminder that we, in fact, have a shield. All right, you sell anything useful? Okay, you got me. I'll make it by selling arrows. No, absolutely not. That is a complete ripoff. Ugh. Even if I didn't already have 30 arrows. All right, so I guess there's more to it than that. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Looking around. Pretty sure, yep. All right. So, I guess I've already done everything that I can do from this angle. Good to know, all right? Then onwards we go! Whee! And then we over there! All right, then. So, gotta get them... Gotta get that bow, bow, bow back. Gotta get that bow back. And... Eh! And... Eh! There we go. You know, you know you're made out of some tough stuff when you can take three arrows to the eyeball and not die. Well, two arrows to the eyeball and not die. Three, and then a, and then then you've done all you can. You're done. But, you know, there you go. I mean, it is a statue, but I don't know. It, it might have a real eyeball. I don't know. The things in Legend of... The monsters in Legend of Zelda don't make any sense. It's possible. Either way. Onwards. And pushing this rock. There we go. That always makes things a little bit easier. All right. So, pretty sure we've only got the three now. Yeah, okay. Weird, I didn't have any trouble finding these things last time I did this, but I guess here we are. Okay, so this place is done like all sorts of various dinners. I guess what we need to do is go further south. As south as we possibly can, I guess. Let's see. Although, clearly not from that angle, derp. And da -da 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 -da. Oh, hang on! I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna grab it if it shows up, that's for certain. Okay, then let's go this way. Wee hoo! And then just keep on going this way. There we go, okay. I was wondering how I was supposed to get up here. Turns out very, very easily. Alright, now just hop your way on over here, stupid. 
Wow, you really are stupid. Okay, uh, you're gonna have to jump this way first. Thank you. And then I shoot you in the eye. Not exactly the uh, smartest sentient rock monster in the world, are you? Okay. Let's see, da 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 da. And ta ta! Uh, a kinstone piece, but not the one I'm looking for. Okay, sure. Ow, okay, all right, you are eating my money. Stop doing that. Please stop eating my money. And now I got my money back. There we go. Apparently, the like like is able to condense rupees into uh, a singular form, which is kind of interesting. Didn't think you could fuse the. I didn't think you could fuse two different types together. Either way, as nice as that was, it was in fact not at all what we want. All right. Okay. And that's still not doing anything for us. Sure seemed like that would have been the. Uh, a place to find another kinstone piece. I was clearly... I mean, I found one there, just not a golden one. And the golden one is the only one that matters. 